Tum Arasas, the Castron Mefa'a of antiquity, is one of the most mysterious archaeological sites in Jordan. Today, this ancient settlement is tantamount to a field of ruins. Castron Mefa'a is divided into three sections. In the northern area, is one of the few buildings in the village that has managed to survive in reasonable condition. Even now, it is unknown how many treasures still lie undiscovered here. New discoveries always arouse much excitement. The abandoned ruins contain many a hidden secret. And even in bygone times, these ruins puzzled various historians and archaeologists. Since 1897, scientists have believed that the original fortified settlement was founded by the Romans. Originally, Castron Mefa'a was a small fort that contained the Roman cavalry, the Notatia Dignitatum. With the decline of the Roman Empire, this military outpost on the edge of the desert was abandoned. The tower in the northern part of the ruins of Umm Arasas once puzzled archaeologists. At first they thought that the 15 metre high stone tower had been a strategically important watchtower. However, since then this theory has been turned on its head. Everything indicates that the tower was once inhabited by a styolitan, a saint housed within a column. Between the 4th and 6th centuries AD, there were many Arabites, men who lived an ascetic life in this region. They were honored as mediators between heaven and earth. This section of the site was once of religious significance. At the side of the tower, the outline of a small church was discovered. When the Romans left, it was not the end of Castron Mefa'a. The fort became a settlement of the Gassanidic Byzantine people. The new inhabitants paid little heed to the town's well-defended walls and instead settled north close to the cisterns. It appears that these people were members of a then new religious group called Christians. Indeed, it can be shown that this tiny settlement once possessed seven churches. Thus far, only one or two have been excavated. Only ruins remain of the ancient church and monastery complexes. However, in some places it's possible to gain an insight into Byzantine church architecture. Several beautiful round arches that date back to the 6th century have also survived. A 
Over the years, the buildings here served many purposes. Several Bedouin families lived in these ancient ruins right up to the beginning of the 20th century. In addition to the Byzantines, Christians also once lived here in Kaslon Mefaar. It's not known for how long this was a Christian village, but its inhabitants were able to live here even though the entire region was under Muslim rule. The wonderful treasures of the Byzantines are often to be found only a few centimetres beneath the ground. Extraordinarily beautiful mosaics are often discovered here. Thanks to the Italian archaeologist Michele Piccirillo, the mosaic decorated floors of two churches were discovered here. Since 1987, the remarkable discoveries of the Sagaias Church have been protected from the elements by a new building. Situated to the south, the Stevens Church contains illustrations of various ancient cities that are of special interest to archaeologists. Mosaics of the Stevens Church date back to the middle of the 8th century. They were created when the Omayyaden ruled this region. The artists of the day skillfully overcame Islamic rules and regulations. So the mosaics of the Stevens Church do not depict saints, but instead only neutral images. The mosaics of both churches date back to 785 AD. The names of their creators are unknown. Perhaps it was not advisable to add one's signature to these works of art. The ruins of Umm ar-Rasas, formerly Kastron Mefa'ar, provide a fascinating insight into a once forgotten part of Jordan's history that lay hidden beneath the desert sand. A place of mystery, romance and even now, daily life.